Hi guys, this is my Daymac electric bike. It's a 60 volt, 60 volt electric bike. Um, this thing, I went to my favorite store the other day and this thing just stopped on me. The motor just gave out for some reason. So I had to take this apart. I had to take quite a bit apart just to uh, get at the wires for the brake levers uh, to make sure I disconnected them just to make sure that the brake lever it has it like a cutoff switch uh, accelerator cutoff so every time you press the brakes the accelerator will cut off so if that if those switches are defected the bike will not go right so I disconnected both sides and that wasn't the problem so I got into here checked the made sure the batteries were okay which it, they are because I could tell by the um, the meter here when I turned the key on and all that and then I worked my way back to the wheel and I'm gonna show you what I found at the wheel so this is the back wheel here and I'm hoping you guys can see this if it can focus in uh, I'm not sure if I can focus in on that, but if you look right here, the wires are cut. There is the green wire that's cut for the power, one of the powers, and then if you look right here, the red and the blue wire, the blue wire is also for the power. And the red is one of the hall sensors. It's also sliced right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let me shine a light on there. I think the light makes it worse. Anyway, they're sliced. And they were rubbing up against uh, the steel or metal or whatever. Now, I need to put this. I don't have a power source down here. So I need to put this wheel back on the bike just temporarily. And check because uh, I need a power source to supply the the red and black hall sensor wires and then uh, I need to make sure if the hall sensors are working because if not I got to take this motor all apart like I got to take the motor all apart anyway to repair these wires because they're so close into here but I don't want to take it apart, repair the wires, and then put it back together and find out that one of the hall sensors are are, um, are gone. So I'm going to put it on, back on the bike and I'm going to check the, um, the hall effect sensors. Make sure that all three are fine. And then if they are, then I know um just to repair those wires and uh, put it back on the bike and then if they're not then i'm gonna have to change whatever hall effector is bad because i probably burnt this one out the red one the one that's sliced over here that hall sensor is probably uh burnt out or whatever anyway yeah that's what i'm doing now Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is see if there's any voltage coming out of the um, motor controller to the hall sensors. And what I need to do is, uh, hold on a second, I'm going to put the camera down for a minute. Well, I'm going to try to do this. Is I got the negative uh, lead for my um, tester into the negative. And I'm going to try to probe the positive here. And see if it gives me anything. So it's giving me a voltage now of uh, 4.71. So that's... I have voltage here. So that's fine. So the next thing I need to do is I need to plug the motor pulse sensors into this plug right here just give me one second 
So what I'm getting is I'm getting 5.1 volts out of every hall sensor. And what's supposed to happen when I turn the wheel, this is supposed to go to 5 volts and back to 0. And I'm turning the wheel right now and it won't change from 5. And that's the yellow. And I'm getting exactly the same thing out of the green. As I turn the wheel forward or backwards. And I'm still not getting any change. So I think all three of my hall sensors are, let's say, effed. So I'm, I'm going to have to take the motor apart. Here it goes. So I'm going to remove all these uh, bolts here and see if I can knock this side of the motor out. I know uh, I see people, they, they have pullers and everything. I do not. So I took all the bolts from here, as I said. I'm going to see if I can get this thing apart without any special tools. That worked out perfect. That actually worked out perfect. Okay, and I don't see any uh, any magnets loose. I don't see any magnet magnitude so the sensors I don't know if you guys can see the sensors are right here three of them so I'm gonna have to take this clip off and see if I can remove this that actually came apart better than I thought I see some people they having to use um, crank pulley uh, pullers like but a but bigger one sometimes Set power. these apart and uh, well I'm happy this came apart easy uh, don't get me wrong here I, I didn't go to school for this I don't know you know what I'm doing here is what I've seen on the internet so I'm just passing it the information along and I see none of these here are loose so yeah I'm gonna get at the hall sensors and um, see if I can order three of them now these things are so tiny I don't know if you can see them once I get them out, I'll show you. So, the Hall Effect sensors are very, very tiny little sensors that are, that are in here. And usually... How they put them in here is with epoxy so in order to take them out you have to don't forget these things are no good anyway right so you have to knock them off that one actually came out easy On my next video, I will show you guys how I'm going to put these back um, and how I'm going to repair these wires here. 
because they're so close to the the shaft these are hard to repair over here but I will show you on the next video how I'm gonna do it without taking the whole hardness out cool cool I'll check me out on the next video on this